Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 and Wise video tutorial series. In this video, we will create footstep sounds in Wise and implement that by Blueprint and C++. I already adapted animations as you can see at the gameplay. Basically, it grabs the first actor colliding under the character every step. Depends on the material or the actor underground, we will post different sounds. Let's go and start with the Wise project. We will use switch container to create footstep sounds. Switch container requires switch group to control and switch options to decide. You can create the same switch group as I did. We also create two random containers randomize grass and rock sounds. That will create variety. On top of this you can still mess up with pitch, volume and filter randomization. In Source Editor, you can adapt the individual sound start and stop positions with fade in and out. I like grass sounds a bit shorter than I recorded and it is useful trait to control these. I still find grass sounds a bit lengthy, so I'm gonna use an audio effects to stretch its playtime. Select the grass random container, go to effects tab and add wise time stretch, then tweak the settings. As the last step, we should connect which container to play at which switch option. Choose switch container and go to views, editors, content editor. Drag and drop these sounds you want to play under the switch. You can test these settings at transport control by changing switches. That's it for the design. Then assign this to a new event, add it to the sound bank and generate it. That'll be all for Wise side. Now it's time to post the sound in Unreal Engine. 
As I said before, I already adapted the animation for footsteps. Only the event posting left. Open the animation blueprint of the character and find the rock and grass branch. The idea is in there. We will post the event whenever we step. As the animation notify declares, but we also change the switch depending on the area we step. So we will set the switch and post the same event. We have implemented footstep sounds in Blueprint. Now we do the same for C++. The process of posting event and setting switch is simple to do, but anim instance class requires to be reparented. To do this, we will create a new child class of anim instance and create some useful functions to use in our Blueprint. Later we can convert more Blueprint nodes to C++ by this approach. At our new anim instance C++ class, I'll create a function to call for anim notify. It is up to your design where to start coding in C++ or using Blueprint. I want to write everything happening when anim notify triggers but the parts wise required. So it will be called right in the middle of anim notify Blueprint chain. After the node we called the function, we will convert blueprint nodes to CPP code. That's the main goal of that adaptation. Function requires the actor we stepped on, so that will be a parameter for it. Rest of the implementation checks the actor and compares actor's tag if it's rock or not. Then change the switch depending on that result and post the event.
preached several times, and they really have an incredible frequency response, and they have a range about six miles to round it off. So everything that you hear in this recording is resonant with the six mile radius of the place where I was recording in Eden, California, Mexico that night. I dived into the definition of these functions we use in C++. This post event has two overloads and one seems to be deprecated soon. So I'll use the active one. In definition of that function, we can actually call the event by the name, without selecting the event in the editor. Definition shows it won't be a problem to call by the name, but the name should be exact same with the event. For set switch function, it contains four parameters and the definition of this function checks some parts of it. You might ask what is u aka switch value. It is just another way to use this function, but for my approach, we can leave it null. Then fill the other three parameters which are actor, switch group and switch state.
and it seems just fine and working. We simply handle some parts of the animation blueprint by the code to change switches and the post events. It can include more of blueprint, but I think it's enough to show why it's using in C++. Thanks for joining me on this episode. If you have any questions or anything to ask, feel free to comment under the video. And have a good day.